Y'all. Mmm, that's so good. Maybe I'm gonna bust out and dance. Like the tube turn does. Mmm. Like that tube turn does. I know what you be feeling, girl. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Three. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Three. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Three. Diversity. Miss Diversity. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Miss Diversity, coming at ya. What's up, my D3 tribe? And if you ain't part of the tribe, then you need to subscribe. How is everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Let's see, this is going to be released on Tuesday. Y'all, one more day before hump day. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> today, I am bringing you a chicken wing and french fry mukbang. This is a sponsored video, courtesy of... It's your girl, boss lady Lexi. Her link is going to be in the description below. She sponsored this video. She actually sponsored it a little while ago. I'm so sorry, boo. I told her I was going to do it for her, and here it is I'm doing. A sponsored video is whenever someone makes a donation towards a particular mukbang that they want you to do. Sponsored mukbangs are not mandatory. Don't think I'm saying, yeah, I got to pay me to eat because I'm eating anyway. But sponsored mukbangs are greatly appreciated, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much, boss lady. Boss Lady Lexi, like I said, also is a content creator, and her uh, channel link will be in my description below. Go ahead and check her out. She is just so sweet and full of energy with her little nugget. I love a nugget. I love watching a little nugget grow, y'all. Anyway, so I am going to be eating on some hot wings. Got some hot wings here. I've got some uh, ranch wings, and I've got some uh, Carolina barbecue wings. These are all from Walmart. This is Walmart. They have like this... Uh, Pick three pack you can get for like $14.88 and they give you a crap load of wings. And you just pick three, whatever three flavors you want. Those three flavors I pick. I also have my garlic lemon pepper french fries that I made. Mm, yeah. And I've got my hot sauce today. I'm going to be using that Szechuan sauce. Stephanie's um, Views on the Road Szechuan sauce. I told y'all I like it and it was going to be back. I went lying to y'all. I like it. And I got my jingle juice. He's been sitting up here so now he look like he's it's snowing. <laughs> I also got me some El Cheapo blue cheese over here and some ketchup. I'm a dipper. I like to dip. I can't help it. With this mukbang, I'm also going to be bringing you a story time. This story time is going to be about the first time I got lost, y'all. <laughs> if you've been rocking with me for a little bit, you know I'm directly challenged. But anyway, that didn't just start. I've always been directly challenged. I probably will be. I'm, trying, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, though. Let's go ahead and give thanks to get the grab y'all. All right, my lemon pepper, my garlic lemon pepper wings will make me create these because there's a place called Jimmy Hula's here, and y'all might have it there. It's a Hawaiian place. They have these moho wings. I mean, moho uh, french fries. So this is garlic lemon pepper french fries. Um, They have these moho french fries, and but they cost like an arm and a leg to give you like this little spitful, maybe that much. And they charge you about like four dollars. Them change for I'm not on. I like, I'm the type that'll taste something and try to recreate it. So, taste and play with it, and y'all, my kids love it, honey. It's on point. It's good. And I can buy me two bags for the price they charge for that little spit right there. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get the grubbing, y'all. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at them chunks on there, baby, baby. I told y'all I'm going to be eating this with some chicken stuff. These I was lying. Mm. And these french fries are so easy to make. You can take the seasoned fries and make it with them. Or plain fries. Don't get your bite. Mmm, good. I'm hungry, y'all. So let me little do a little eating first, okay? Because I'm always bumping my gums. Y'all, this good. My blue cheese. And then the sauce. I bet it's going to be good. Mmm. I knew it was going to be good. It is good. Ugh, it's never hood. Yo, let's try one of these wings. This is the Carolina one. I like this Carolina barbecue one they have. I brought them earlier, but y'all know I put them in my toaster oven. Y'all, I love my toaster oven. And crispy right on back up, y'all. Mmm. Make it taste like it's fresh out the grease. Mmm. Y'all want a bite? I'm sorry. Get you a bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Mm. Good neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Double fisting it, y'all. <laughs> Double fisting it. <laughs> I'm mine, man. I'm silly. Mm. Let's taste it with the Szechuan sauce. Mmm. When I put it in the refrigerator, I got like a little thick, thick on me, so I add a little bit more of the chicken broth, boosting it up. Y'all. Mmm, that's so good. Maybe I'm gonna bust out and dance. Like the tube turn does. Mmm. Like that tube turn does. I know what you be feeling, girl. <laughs> like the tube turns. We dance up behind them. I know what you be feeling. I be dancing on the inside, but sometimes you know it got to come out. Mmm. Especially my food be good to you. Y'all. Anyway. So. First time I got lost. I was 16 years old. Was I 16? <clears throat> Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I was 15 years old. 15 in ninth grade. <laughs> I already had a car by then. I had a car. I was working two jobs. See, all y'all ones, you got to easily reduce work on your grades. Y'all better work on your grades to what your parents tell you to do. You know, I was working two jobs at the time I was working at Quincy Steakhouse and um, KFC. Y'all have always been a hustler. I've always been a hustler. I've never been a lazy one. Anyway, so my dad told me, because back then you could drive your learning permit. Um, to work and to school in the back. But my school was like, we lived on the west side. Mm, y'all so taking it good. My school was on the other side of the town, on the north side, y'all. Like about 25, 30 minutes away from where I stayed. So what I would do is I would have to catch two buses. I have to catch one bus to the school that I was supposed to go to. Because I went to a, I went to a, um, what the hell do you call it? Magnet school. I went to a magnet school. So I had to catch, because it taught us to trade while we went there. I had to catch one bus to the school I was supposed to go to, and I had to catch another bus to uh, the school I was attending. So total, it took me like, I already get to school. So I got this bright idea. Now my dad told me I can only drive to and from work with the car. I pretty much it's stupid. Well, I gotta ride these two buses. I can get to school half the time. I got a car. I can drive. You know. I think I'm a big thing popping, right? No, I'm my butt. Okay, y'all. This was before the phones, the cell phones. Okay, all these high tech GPSs and all that. This was back in MapQuest days. Okay, who remember the MapQuest days? I still like MapQuest. Classic MapQuest. MapQuest days, y'all. You go ahead and print out your directions ahead of time and have them pinned to your little. Your uh, son buys and flip them. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Throw the other page down when you're done with it. Hold on. Excuse me, it's back quick days. Anyway, so I got this idea. I'm about to drive to school. So I, I said, I'm driving to school. So I waited until my mom and dad left for work. <laughs> Hopped in my hoopy. I had a Corsica, y'all. I had me a Corsica. It had fuchsia color interior on there, cloth interior. <laughs> she was white, y'all. I used to be rolling out in the Corsica, you hear me? Couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Shoot, having a car back then, anything was hot and popping, okay? Having a car back then. Everybody wasn't able. I was grateful, y'all. My car, shoot. Anyway, so, I had the night before, <coughs> I stuck on the computer, and it was hard, y'all, because that was back L AOL dial-up days. I was hoping I didn't wake my parents up. They probably knew back. What's this thing gonna open? They probably didn't know. Probably ain't saying nothing. But anyway, so I hopped on the computer, tried to turn it down so it won't be so loud, and I printed off the MapQuest directions. 
I said, I got this. I got this. So they left for work the next morning. And I waited. And my sister never questioned me, like, why you ain't getting on the bus or whatever. I'm like, no, 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 you know, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know why no man tell on me. I guess because they couldn't pick up the cell phone and call. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Everybody left. They got on the bus. I got in my car. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I dropped one of my Did I drop one of my sisters off? No, my sisters weren't in high school yet. That's right. That's right. They went to school at a separate time than me. All right. That's why. Well, I was in ninth grade. My sisters weren't in high school yet. So, which everybody left. Hopped up in that car. Hopped up in my, in my course school, y'all. And I drove my behind the school. Y'all, I've been riding. That was my first time on the highway, too. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. But anyway, so... I'm driving, driving. I made the school. You know, I roll up. People, oh, you driving? Can't go to yeah, girl. I drove to school, girl. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, you know, how you doing? To get on the hot thing, pop me, y'all. So it's time to go home. And they released, you know, the bus riders. And then they released like the walkers and the people who drive cars. So you know, I'm sitting there chilling, <laughs> propped up. You know, they really bus riders. Please, you know, go to the bus loop. <laughs> People are like you ain't you girl you gotta go. Oh no, honey, I drove. <laughs> I drove. <laughs> Y'all. So anyway, so it's time to go home. They released the car drivers and um <laughs> car riders or whatever. And so I hop in the car, get my directions together, and I'm riding back. It's going to go back home. Y'all. I don't know if I missed the page or Mass Quest messed something up. But yo, I got off on the wrong exit when they forked off. It's what the little I-10 West, I-10 East. I went east instead of west. Yo, so I'm over here in the sticks. I ain't nothing over here. Nobody that looked like me was over there. I'm like, oh my God. What'd I do? <laughs> now, you know, we ain't had no cell phones, okay? We ain't no cell phones. I couldn't rewrite the GPS. <laughs> I ain't had no GPS. I mean, the high and elite had that. <laughs> Y'all, so I'm lost in the sticks. And my thing was a thing about uh, 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 an etch, uh, a notch before an E. I'm like, oh my God, let me find a gas station. So I find this freaky dinky gas station. They're looking at me crazy because ain't nobody over there look like me. Okay? Ain't nobody over there look at me, look like me at the time. Find this gas station. Scrape up my little coins I had. And put some gas. I could think I get my quarter ticket gas. I got myself quarter ticket gas. And I'm asking people for direction. How do you get back to here? You know, y'all, not not even knowing the name of the streets. You know, I'm trying to just name the area. And they said, Well, what side of town? And they, you know, trying their best to help me out. Out, you know, the side eye me at the same time. I'm just going, Oh Lord, somebody gonna get me because I'm all lost. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, so I got my butt back on the highway, and I was traveling, still traveling the wrong direction. But I started seeing something look familiar. Not familiar to home, familiar to my mom's job. My mom worked at the hospital at the time. I said, let me get off this exit, because he had said it was a Walmart there. So I got the Walmart exit. Y'all, I still ain't know where the heck I was. I know where I was now. I was over there off Edgewood somewhere, y'all. <laughs> still ain't know where the heck I was. So I went into Walmart, squared up my coins. So you always kept coins back then. Because you to use the pay phone. But I ain't had that many of them because I had just put gas in my car. I think I put like $3 in my tank or something. That was a lot back then. $3 in my tank. And to top it off, I was getting hungry. Because you know it was the end of the day? You know, and I had been riding around for a little bit trying to find out where the heck I am. So fine, I got off and I went into Walmart. I had pay phones at Walmart then, y'all. Y'all youngsters don't know about that. So I called, tried to call my mom. The first call, she ain't had no cell phone either. I had to call her job and be directed, directed. And then I had got her voicemail. Dang it, and I lost my quarter. Lost my quarter. Anyway, I'm like, dang, I'm run out of money. So I had to man up. Here by the hot wings. Man up, and I went to the front counter. Because I know that I had uh, a phone there. So now I wasn't supposed to be driving my car to begin with, y'all. And I sure the hell wasn't going to call my daddy. Because <laughs> he told me not to drive it. So I manned up and I was like, you know, because I'm running out of money. I was like, 
That's the lady. And so you know I can I can use your phone to um, call my mom. I'm lost. And they let me. A woman let me use the phone to call my mom. I call my mom. She's like, you what? You what? I said, mom, I don't know. It, it, I'm at Walmart somewhere. Why are you driving your car? Who told you you could drive your car? I said, mom, I don't know. Mom, mom, can you, mom, you stop yelling at me. I'm lost. I'm scared. I don't know where to go. But where are you at? She's trying to give me directions. I said, mom, mom, shit. You know what? Just sit there. You, your ass is going to sit there and wait until I get off of work. And y'all, I sat there too until she got off work in my car. Y'all lay back, took a nap, but I was all nervous. People looking at me. And I had tried to like roll my jacket up. I had to roll up windows, roll my jacket up in the window so it couldn't look at me. And this one lady actually like knocked on the door and was like, honey, are you okay? Because I'm gonna, you know, sleeping now and stuff like that. And she was like, you need anything? I want to tell her, yeah, I want some food. But you know, my mama said, you know, you just want to be talking to people like that, you know. So I'm like, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm just, I'm just waiting for someone. And she's like, oh, okay, honey. Yo, I went back and forth from Walmart a couple times calling my mama. I know they were getting sick of me. And my mom was kept tired of me too. But I had to make sure she was coming. You know? I'm in this area. I don't know what I'm like. Mom, I'm hungry. You said I shouldn't never go to, <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> so y'all, I'm searching through my little compartments. I found some old stale gum. I was chewing. I chewed the flavor out of that. You hear me? So finally. My mom actually had got off of work a little earlier too. Thank God. Finally, about five thirty, six o'clock, my mind rolled up. She was not happy. Oh, y'all! And I didn't tell you that Rinky Dinky gas station that I put my gas that I put in my car. It messed my car up. My car was smoking after that, so it must have been water in there. I ain't tell my daddy about that though. I let him like you know just act like he just discovered himself. <laughs> but I know it was that gas that messed my car up. Because it was smoking. Like, I could tell Pop smoking a lot. Anyway, so I made it home. In trouble. Y'all. And, um, I got my car taken away. <laughs> so I was bumming rides to work, y'all. I'm like, dang, and I thought I had it too. I thought it was like, I was good to go when I had made it school. And I ride back. See, I got too cocky. That's what it was. I got too cocky and I missed that turn. That's what it was. <laughs> but even now to this day, I'm still direction channeling. So I actually do like the GPS so sometimes. They get you where you need to go. Sometimes they turn you around. But I still MapQuest. I still I use GPS, but I still print stuff out up and MapQuest it. And compare, do comparative to it. I'm serious, I do. And I like the classic version. I don't like the new one they got going on. I like the classic version. I'm at quick. But y'all, I was crazy. I was scared too. I was so scared. <laughs> scared of being someplace I, I ain't know where I was and scared of what my daddy was going to do to me when I got home. Because I know I had no business driving that cop school. <laughs> y'all. Mama, you remember that? <laughs> I bet you do. That's why behind get. Note the children out there. Do what your parents say do and do not do what they say do not to do. Yeah? Okay? Telling you for a reason. See, had I had got a hold of my dad, he would have been to get me home. Because my dad is like my human navigation system. Like I still use him now to this day. He, he used to drive trucks. But even for a thing, he's just really, really good with directions. He's like, he knows how to get anywhere, like, pretty much anywhere in the world, almost. He'd be like, uh, so, uh, what's your mile marker? All right, this is what you're going to do here. Go this, this, and this. Oh, my dang. But see, y'all, y'all got better now. Still don't be taking cars without permission, but y'all got GPS now, so y'all better now. But it ain't reliable, y'all. Computers ain't reliable. Y'all from this computer. Computers we didn't have back then. <laughs> I think my first time, I think cell phones came out. I think my senior year. My senior year in high school, y'all. Tell my age. Oh well. 
Or oh, they came out shortly before then, but we didn't really get one until around that time. That's when it was affordable for normal folks to have a little modular phone. They're called modular phones. Before then, y'all, it was the pages. The pages were hot and popping. Who made the pages, y'all? You have your page, you girl. Boy, you can tell you know you can text. You know how to text code. You knew what pay phones to use, call it call back, so you gotta use your money. Y'all. Pay, pay phones is a jump off, okay? Mmm. <laughs> the coconut. To all of y'all Coquito lovers, if you're local, my comadre is making a new batch up just in time for the holidays. If you want some, hit me up. Even if you're not local, hit me up. Can't say everything, you know, legally wise on, on here. But hit me up. <laughs> mm. If you're interested in some new coquito, I mean not new coquito. If you're interested in coquitos, she making some new batches, y'all. She just texted me. I was so excited, y'all. I was so happy. She has some pretty bottles too. She put them in. Mm mm mm. We talking about doing y'all. That's good. A couple more fries. Mm. That's good. Ooh. Ooh, I'm full. I left my water. What more that? Let's not get it later. That's okay. If you wonder why my hands are red, it's because it's our zone. I put the sauce on my uh, garlic lemon pepper fries. Whew, I think I got the itis. Mm, what ain't there? Anyway, we have come to the end of our program. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on my French fries and chicken wings mukbang. Or chicken wings and French fries mukbang. Whatever the title says. <laughs> Hold on, Bert. Oh, excuse me. Kisha Burp. He always got to show his behind. Can't wait. Anyway, like always, if you like what you see and you want to see more, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit subscribe and become part of the tribe. The D3 tribe. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified of any and every video that I release. Comment below. Let me know that you're there. Share, share, share because sharing is caring. Give this video a big old like or a dislike if it wasn't your cup of tea. And stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace, love, and lots of hair grease. Deuces.